Okay, so it's day one of opening my Amazon beauty advent calendar. So I'm gonna grab the box and open it now. Okay, so then this is number one from the Amazon beauty advent calendar. Let's have a look. Oh. Oh my gosh, okay, so it's uh, LMS and it's a soothing apricot toner, which is very exciting. I will definitely be using that. Oh my gosh, it actually smells like apricot. So it says it's calming and it effectively tones the skin and maintains the natural pH level, which is great because my skin's been really bad at the moment. <laughs> so I'll definitely be using that. Hello and welcome back to day two of Vlogmas. Um, so today is the 1st of December because um, I'm filming them a day ahead. So today we're going to be putting up our Christmas tree. But before we put up our Christmas tree, I just wanted to show you guys all the ornaments that we are going to be putting on our tree this year. All the baubles and all the things that um, have sentimental value to us. Um, so yeah, here we go. Now I have got lots and lots of stuff. Um, my family have a tradition where every year um, our grandparents would give us an ornament for the tree um, until we were 12, so representing the 12 days of Christmas. Um, and so I have 12 kind of sentimental ornaments for my family. I think I have all 12. I think there may be one of them that's kind of gone missing over the years. Um, and then a few other bits and bobs as well that I'm going to show you. And of course I have my glamorous assistant Phoebe here as well. So this is actually the first year that Fraser and I have decorated a tree on our own. Um, we have owned the tree for the last two years, it is our tree, um, but uh, last year and the year before we lived with flatmates, so we shared the tree, so this is the first year that we're going to be decorating the tree on our own. Um, I have tried to go to a theme, but like I said, because um, I had presents over uh, presents ornaments from over the years. They don't all kind of go, but we do have a little mini tree up here as well. So I'm thinking, kind of going along the lines, as the mini tree is going to be kind of more um, of the different stuff, and then the big tree is going to be more of the like themed stuff. If that makes sense. Okay, so firstly, I have a whole bunch of baubles. Um, obviously, just regular ones. These are they're just in this lid here, so I don't have to hold them all. But these are just tiny ones, shades of gold, got some glittery ones and some shiny ones. Um, so yeah, we're definitely going to be kind of going on a gold theme this year. As well as those baubles, I've got these ones that I picked up in the sale last year at John Lewis and they look like this. They're kind of like iridescent. They look a little bit like bubbles and we actually have four of those. Um, I just think they're so beautiful, like the, the way that they catch the light and the way that the rainbows kind of reflect out of them. Um, so yes, I bought these ones in the sale in John Lewis um, on in Sloan Square last year. Other baubles that I bought in the sale last year, um, these ones were from H&M Home, and again, you can kind of see they're that pinky gold, um, rose gold kind of color. Two kind of matte ones, two shiny ones, and then two glittery ones at the bottom. And I actually got all six of these for three pounds. Um, but like I said, yeah, I bought them in the January sales last year. Obviously, if you watched my Vlogmas yesterday, you will see that I picked these four kind of rose gold stars up from the range, very, very glittery, um, but they will also be going on our tree. Okay, so I have lots of individually wrapped baubles as well. It's really funny because because they've been wrapped up all year, it's kind of a surprise for me as well. So it's nice seeing them all for the first time. Like I said, they've never been on a tree before because I bought them all in the sale, these ones. Um, so firstly, we've got this one. It's kind of like a gold and white marble effect bauble. Okay, then there's these two. Um, this one, which is kind of like a champagne colour with glittery dots on. And then the same, but in pink as well, and they're kind of see-through, so these two as well. They're slightly bigger. Okay, this is another one that I've just unwrapped. Literally don't remember buying it. It's from John Lewis. I'm assuming, again, I got it in the sale. Um, but it's this kind of, it's quite big, actually. It's, it's as big as my hand. Um, and it's kind of this iridescent, almost pink toned, I don't know, what, what, would you, what shape would you call that? Like a diamond? Um, but yes, so there's this ornament as well. Okay, so I've just found another one of these ones. This is the gold marble one. Again, if you watched my vlog yesterday, you will know that we got this P in Homebase um, for Phoebe. 
Uh, this is one that I also picked up last year. It's just this little penguin, um, obviously that will hang up on our tree. Okay, so I'm just kind of rummaging through this cardboard box here that's in front of Phoebe, and I've just found a bunch more of just like regular baubles. So I've got some pink ones and some more kind of smaller sparkly ones. There's some more here, kind of champagnes, golds. Um, some of them aren't threaded, which is annoying, which means I might have to find some string to try and thread them. Okay, and then I've got a box of um, ornaments that I bought. I think some of them I bought last year, but they're not um, just like regular baubles. Um, they're slightly different. So firstly, um, I have this little wooden house um, that has these silver kind of um, bits. I think I actually added the silver with like a wood pen, um, but it should light up. Yeah, there we go. So it still lights up, so the battery still works. Um, I think this was just from Hobbycraft last year that I bought. Um, so yes, yeah, so there's this little house and that will go up on our tree. Here is another one of my ornaments. It's these just two little deer in this metal love heart. And I got this ages ago when I was at university. I think I got it in Wimbledon Village. Um, but there's another one. This one is reminiscent of my days when I did a Christmas tempt at Tiger, um, the shop Tiger. And they sold these little kind of Scandi um, elves for the tree. So we were, sorry, Phoebe's just smacking her lips. Um, so we will be putting this one up on our tree as well. The ones that are more kind of red, I'm thinking that they're gonna go on the little tree. So we'll have like the kind of rose gold tree as our main tree. And then like the little red things can go on the little tree. Okay, so these three are ones that I got from, I think Accessorize in the sale last year. There's this one here, it's like this kind of planet with sequins on and on the back it says infinite possibilities. And this little gingerbread man and on the back it says joy. And then this kind of little peace dove and on the back it says peace. So I will be choosing whether they go, which tree those ones go on as well. Then like I've already mentioned, um, these ones are from Anthropology I think. Um, we've got an F for Fraser and a C for Caitlin. They will definitely be going up on our tree, along with our P for Phoebe. Uh, there's this funny bear ornament. This is something I bought for Fraser years ago, like back when we were at school, um, and it went up on his tree every year, and now it's gonna go up on our tree. And then finally, there's this decoration that my mum made for me last year, and it's this little Scandi house um, that looks like this. She made it from felt, and then obviously it's got the stitching around the outside, and it's so cute. Okay, so then, like I said already, um, I have my 12 Days of Christmas um, ones that I got from my grandparents as the years kind of went by, as I was growing up. Some of them have dates on, but some of them don't, unfortunately, so I'm not entirely sure what year they all came in. Um, but the first one, this one, as you can see, it says 1997 in C, because obviously my brother's got one as well. Um, but it's this little wooden Santa. The next one I have here is... This one doesn't have a date on, unfortunately, but it's this sequin Santa and it's just sequins on both sides. The next one I have is this pink star. It's got a little C on it at the top because um, obviously my brothers would have got, I think they've got ones in different colours, but yeah, so we've got this pink star. Okay, so next I've got this mini stocking. Again, it's got a little C on it because my brothers had the same, but I don't think it has the date on, so I'm not sure what year this one's from either. Okay, the rest of them are quite delicate, so they're all wrapped up. Um, but the first one is this little robin here with these dangly legs, kind of like ceramic. Then I have this purple jeweled butterfly. And then I have this jeweled dragonfly, silver one. You can tell my granny's taste she really, really likes um, like gardens, insects, things like that. Um, so now the dragonfly, this one is kind of black and silver jewels. So it's slightly bigger than this one as well. And this one's got a clip as well, so you kind of clip it to the branch rather than hang it. Also, you can tell which ones I got when I was older. Um, like, obviously, the kind of wooden and the other ones were when I was younger. And this one, I forgot, but this one was when I was younger as well. Um, it's just this silver snowflake. Next one is really, really delicate. It's this little kind of elf dancer girl with little beads on her skirt but she's so slim and her legs and her arms are so fragile so we always wrap her up really really carefully and finally this little angel um she's got this kind of iridescent dress with all fluff everywhere and she's kind of carrying these beads um and then she's got these wings on the back so that's only 11 
um, of my decorations so I know that there's definitely one that's missing and it probably has just disappeared over the years. Um, so finally um, we have these mini gins that I bought from M&S. They're the ones with the, um, if you can see, the gold flakes in that make them kind of like snow globes and I have the big ones as well, they're back here somewhere um, that light up as well. I showed them on my Instagram story, we have both flavours um, and they light up like this and then they have all the glitter inside them. I don't think the tree ones actually light up but obviously they just go on the tree as is. Then we have this little guy which I actually bought this year because he was just so cute. It's like a little penguin in a tutu and it's just so cute. This is the star for the top of our tree. It is looking a little bit sad and a little bit battered, so I will keep an eye out, but it's just a gold glitter star. So to follow the tradition that my grandparents started of buying as a decoration each year, um, my parents, obviously Phoebe's grandparents, have started that tradition as well. And this is her first decoration that my mum made. So it's this crocheted heart with a snowflake in, very Scandi, and then on the back she's stitched in 2020, so we know what year it's from. Um, so yeah, my mum is carrying on that tradition, which I absolutely love. Oh, I found an extra one. This one I got in 2018, and I think it was from my brother, and it's this little pug in this glass uh, dome with some glitter on him as well. So yes, that is all our decorations that will be going up on our tree that you will be seeing at some point. Obviously we also have some lights that I bought last year in the sale, um, the tinsel that I showed yesterday in my haul, and I also have some beads as well, but I'm not sure if we'll be using these, we will see if we need them. Okay, so that is everything. Thank you so much for watching my kind of like decorations, I don't really know what I'm going to call this, um, my ornament stash, all the things that I've got to put up, ready to put up on the tree and like I said we're going to be putting up the tree later today and you'll see that video at some point as well. So I hope you're having a lovely December so far and I will see you tomorrow.